We now have a grade six speaker telling us about how climate change can create a refugee crisis. Please welcome Emma Vincar. Four more minutes and I'm off my flight. I look at the star gazing water hit against the smooth sand. I watch people take pictures, swim, and have fun. But then, there's a big pause. People scream in horror as they run to different planes. The water tide rises up by 50%. All small things begin to sink. Now, it's the island's turn. The island sinks down, down, and down. All that is left to see is water. Let me tell you a bit about the Marshall Islands. It is located in the Pacific Ocean near Australia. There is more than 52,000 people living there. My best friend is from the Marshall Islands. Her mom was born and raised there, so she experienced a lot of the water level risings. If they did not have an escape plan, or if the water tide rose too much, my best friend might have not existed. The Marshall Islands is a beautiful and exotic place, where people get to relax, have fun, and live. But what do you imagine of the Marshall Islands in 50 to 60 years? This picture was taken of the Marshall Islands in 2000. And this picture was taken in 2015. Let's talk about water levels. Climate change has been affecting water in many different ways. What I am focusing on is water levels. Water levels are very dangerous according to FIS.org. By 2030, the water level could rise up by 32%, and by 2050, it could rise by 56%. So, why should we care? If this really happens, we could lose half our islands. This also means there's going to be a tight place for people to live, according to CNN.com. Practically half the Earth's surface will be pure water. People are forced to move from their homes, so they are refugees. We cannot prevent war refugees because it would be hard to prevent a war between people, but we can prevent climate change refugees because we are causing their homes to go down. The Marshall Islands are having a hard time to enjoying to live, so they made a few changes. Now, instead of using coal, they use coconut for cooking their food and heating their houses. Here are two ways we can help. We can stop contributing to air pollution, which causes climate change, and we can make sure to spread the word. And at the end of this, we can agree we want to save our marsh islands. Thank you.